Hi, welcome to Spark Study. In this lecture, we'll study about DC and AC traction drive and how to control DC traction drive and how to control AC traction drive. The figure in front of you is consists of four DC motors and all the motors fields are connected into the armature in series connection. That is why those motors are called DC series motor. We have four series motor connected in series. To make seamless operation, we have to make pairs in the left side one and right side one. So that means each pair should get equal voltage, equal speed and equal everything, equal torque also. So as we are having four different motors or four DC series motors and we have to make pairs that is, that is why we will have two pairs. So while the train is in starting position that means when the train is going to start that time the speed was zero. When the speed is zero we need maximum torque to make it operate. So, when the train is getting started, that time we need maximum torque. As we need maximum torque, the motor actually needed maximum current from the supply. That is called initial inverse current. So, to overcome the inverse current, very heavy current, because when the when heavy current is entering through the resist through the armature resistance or armature coil, the armature coil having chance to burn out. So, to overcome that, we will connect external resistance that are shown in as R1 to R3 dash. So, these external resistance actually limit the starting inverse current. Here the question is why we need series connection of the starting? Because see, the DC motor having the characteristics that you should not start the DC motor without load because at the time of starting, DC motor will give maximum maximum speed that is called infinite speed because at the time of starting the motor do, the DC motor never develop the back MF so when the back MF zero that time speed is maximum but here you can see as the motor is connected to traction drive and traction drive is heavy weight so that DC motor will provide maximum torque to start from zero to half of the base speed. Base speed means the maximum speed when the train is um, moving. Or this is the connection, circuitry connection for, a, for the DC series motor when the train is starting from zero to half of the base speed. Okay. So this is the figure of control when the train is moving its half of the base speed to the full speed. What we did, here we make two different parallel connection of cascaded series motors. So the same four series motor now actually arranged in this way whereas M1 and M2 are in series, M1 dash and M2 dash are also series but they are series with R1, R2, R3 and R1 dash, R2 dash, R3 dash respectively and those two sets are connected in parallel. Okay. So what happened in this time torque requirement reduces and speed increases that is why you can get half of the base speed to the full base speed okay when the train or when the traction drive reaches the maximum speed that is called base speed what do we do we actually convert it uh, we actually remove all the resistance because when the train is moving in the base speed that time current from the supply is not high because when the train is moving with base speed at that time it actually already overcome the inertia that is why the torque requirement to rotate the motors are very less or negligible that, that is why the current from the supply to create additional torque is zero or less we can remove the series resistance to make it operate in base speed so these are actually the operation i mean these are actually the control of dc series motors that means when the train is starting up to the train is moving with base speed that four motor can be connected in different ways to overcome its inertia. Disadvantage of DC traction with resistance control as you know that uh, the control is belongs to the resistance control so when the current or power is passing th when the current is passing through the resistance it actually produces heat which in turn becomes the heat loss. So, as my power is losses in terms of heat, that is why the efficiency is getting down. So, we will have lower efficiency due to resistance control. We will have poor adhesion due to step change in torque and more drooping speed or curves.
because of resistance control one more thing is as we are using dc motor dc motor uses brushes for connecting the external supply to the armature so it actually require frequent maintenance due to large number of moving contact so these are all about the design advantage of the uh, dc drives to overcome that we will go for ac drive in ac traction drive we will also use the same dc motors but supply is ac here the supply actually given to a transformer that is called tap changing transformer where the output or the secondary of the transformer is tapped out with different internal turns so that we can get different output voltage and those output voltage is fed into a diode full bridge rectifier or uncontrolled rectifier and that rectified output is again filtered with a in, with a inductive filter and given back to the series motors the picture in front of you is given 25 kilo volt 50 hertz ac traction using transformer with tap changer and we have here we have higher efficiency and better addition and this is nothing but the semiconductor drive in the previous section we have studied the transformer is tap changing but here the transformer do not have tap instead of instead will have the control rectifier it is called semi control rectifier why because we have two thyristor which is control one and we have two diode so the secondary output of the transformer is given to a semi converter and that semi converter output is given filtered with a input with a inductor and given back to the dc series motor as you know that dc motors are nothing but rle type of load so as internal circuit consists of inductor when we have a load of inductive nature then we should have used free wheeling diode so instead of that free wheeling diode we use d1 and d2 to free wheel the stored current in the, to free wheel the stored current in the motor so this is all about the so drive of a something locomotive of 25 kilo volt ac traction with thyristor converter so we have number of advantages here will have high efficiency lower maintenance required better addition due to stepless control higher acceleration or deceleration and speed due to better addition it actually increase the comfort of passenger due to smooth acceleration and braking it will have flexible control easy maintenance repair fault diagnosis and interference more readily with automatic main control it will have long life and so on